It is the end of February, and that means March is right around the corner, spring is waiting to be sprung, and that means the Inazuma 11 Victory Road is almost here. Well, the beta at least. But I figured that meant I could do one final predictions video. Give you guys my final five predictions. I've got a few realistic ones, and I've got a few that I'm just kind of throwing out. A lot of this is just me manifesting what I want to see in the game, but who knows, maybe he knows listening. And I am talking specifically about the beta here. This is what I want to see when we finally get it in March sometime. A release date would be nice. Well, let's actually start then with our first prediction being the release date. When exactly in March do I think Victory Road is going to drop? Now, bearing in mind, this is just purely speculative. There is no actual evidence or proof behind any of this. But with that being said, I can now definitively confirm Inazuma 11 Victory Road's beta is 100%, 110% dropping Friday, March 22nd. It feels like it'd come out on a Friday. Surely, and March 22nd feels late enough in March for Hino to, you know, be ha actually happy with the beta rather than just dropping it at the beginning of March, where I'm sure to him it'll feel like a rush job. It's also not exactly like the end of March. You know what I mean? It's in March. If it was the end of March, I feel like, you know, then he's pushing it a bit far. 22nd, that feels right. So, when it drops on the 22nd, y'all can tell me, wow, TXM, I never knew you were so smart, and I can reply, yes, it's true. My second prediction is to do with this fella, this blonde-haired fella. We've seen him in trailers camping out in the Inazuma bus, uh, basically for Chronicle mode, and my prediction is that we will not see him in the slightest in the beta, because I think he is going to be an entirely Chronicle mode related player. I don't think we're going to get a single glimpse of him. I actually, if I was to go one step further with this prediction and actually link it to the, when the full game drops, I don't think he will be a player. I think he will purely just be a character we control in Chronicle mode. I think he'll be some kind of time traveler type person and that'll be his role in the game. I don't think we'll play as him, and I don't think he'll appear in the beta at all. Obviously, the beta will supposedly give us chapter one. I don't think he's in there. Number three, this is very much an optimistic prediction, one I am hoping for, praying for. And that is that a new team will be introduced into the online mode eventually. What do I mean by this? Well, what I mean is over the course of the beta's lifetime, at some point before the real game drops in what, like September, October, December, who knows, that a fourth team will be added to the beta. Obviously, we already have Inazuma All-Stars, Japan Dreams, and Alien Masters. I think we're going to get a fourth one, and it will probably be composed of like some Galaxy people, some Inazuma 3 people, like a World Championship All-Stars team. It just makes sense to me. Come on, the fact that we haven't got any Galaxy players or any Inazuma 11 3 players, surely that's leading to something. They could even throw in some Orion players into there, surely this has to be what they're planning. Otherwise, Archer Hawkins got shafted, and I'm not okay with that. It would also extend the lifetime of the beta, which means they could spend more time working on Victory Road without fans getting rabid. So, who knows? I think it would be a good idea, so my fingers are crossed. Number four, and this is again a very optimistic one. I think that in chapter one, there will be a mini game of sorts, something to do that we haven't seen yet. This is very vague, and I'm going to keep it very vague because I do like being right. But I think there's going to be something to do in Chapter 1 that we don't even know about. There's going to be a complete surprise on the day. What do I mean by something to do? Well, I mean something, like a mini-game. That's where my head's at. Just something cool, mostly something I can make content out of, but something cool that will be in that Chapter 1 for us to do as Unmei that none of us see coming because they haven't even touched on it yet. Is that too vague of a prediction? I don't know. I'm sticking by it. In an ideal world, what would I want it to be? I don't know. Maybe they've put Candy Crush into an Azuma 11. Who knows? And number five, my final prediction of the day, and my final prediction before the beta drops, is that we will be able to scout in Chapter 1. I mean, surely, right? We have to build a team of 11 to do a match, and surely there's a match in Chapter uh, 1. And we know that Unmei doesn't get a full team to start off with. He's got to build that team. We've got to build that team. 
So surely we should be able to scout. But that does feel like a lot to put into a beta chapter one. So, but apparently this beta chapter one is quite long. So what else is going to go on in that chapter one if we're not scouting to build a team? Are we going to be able to scout more than 11 players or are we going to be stuck on 11 players? I guess my prediction is that we will be able to do more than 11 players. I think we will be on, uh, be able to do whatever this game's version of panel packing Celia Hills is, which obviously means we're getting so many tier lists about how cool the different scouts are. 100%. I really want this because I think it'll not only be cool to see the scouts, but I think it'll add a lot of longevity to the beta, which I do think is what level 5 want. They've said this beta could last you up to like 30 hours of just doing different new stuff. So obviously there's got to be stuff in there to do. It can't just be all grinding to get Alien Masters. But there you go. There are my final five predictions for Inazuma 11 Victory Roads beta. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And when the game comes out, we can look back and see how many of these I got right. The answer is all of them. Let me know your predictions down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.